Welcome everyone, my name is Swiss. I would like to welcome you to the DCL Ventures channel. In the next five videos, I will be introducing Decentraland to people who are not yet familiar with the in-game mechanics, in, with the in-world functionality, how to get started with Decentraland. But more importantly, I also want to cover what Decentraland is, what it could be, and, um, you know, I think these five videos will allow you to get a decent introduction to what you get yourself into once you get started on this path. Well, in this very first video, I'm going to give you a quick intro and let's get started with that right away. So as you can see on your screen right now is my building inside Decentraland. We are currently in world and um, I would like to, you know, with this in the background, discuss a couple of points. Now, what exactly is Decentraland? Decentraland is a virtual world. Now, at this point in time, in 220, end of 220, uh, we still do not have any virtual reality per se but there are plans on the roadmap to eventually implement VR as a key component of the in-world experience. And you might have noticed that I kind of switch back and forward between calling Decentraland a world and a game. And it is a bit of a dilemma from my point of view, because personally, I believe Decentraland is more of a world, a parallel universe, a virtual world, and rather than a game, as some might think. So Decentraland is a plot of land, a huge plot of land that is divided into tiny lands, land plots that can be bought and sold, and those land plots are owned by the actual players or users of the platform and this is possible with the help of the blockchain technology where on the ethereum blockchain we are able to save ownership data for each land parcel and i think this is one of the areas that is most attractive to people hearing about the central land for the very first time the fact that you can own stuff in the world in the game is something that many have wished for for years. And now with the blockchain technology becoming mainstream, this has finally become possible. And more and more experiences are using this technology to actually allow users to own their own land and their own in-game items. Um, yeah, so I think this is like the first thing that I need to mention when answering the question, what is the central land? Now, Many of you might have found out about Decentraland through the MANA token. The MANA token is the in-world currency that is being used in the marketplaces in, the, in Decentraland. And it is also traded on many crypto exchanges where you have maybe found it and uh, clicked through to learn more. So, you know, I'm not going to spend more time discussing mana and land details in this introductory video uh, because we will st we'll still discuss these in more detail over the course of this series of this introductory series so let's move on um what is what what can you expect in this central land and what should you not expect well Let's say it like that. The Decentraland project is still work in progress. It has been officially launched in February 2020. So it is somewhat of a young platform. So a lot of the things are being worked on as we speak. So if you join Decentraland today, you would be you would have the privilege and the honor of helping shaping Decentraland intensively at this point in time but also going forward as the platform continues to develop um it is not a game it is not an action-packed game 
It is not a blockbuster style game where you could, you know, finish missions and uh, have very high quality, high speed graphics. It's uh, it is a beautiful world, but it is not a uh, action packed game. It is a an empty shell where you can create whatever you think should be created. It is user owned and user governed. Yes, it is not quite there yet, but this is the vision that we all have, and this is why we are all excited about Decentraland today. Okay, so one interesting aspect is that um, I believe that Decentraland is going to be a sort of gateway to the virtual reality of the future web. It could be also a gateway to all sorts of crypto related projects already today we do have headquarters of big companies big crypto companies such as Binance and Kraken um, just to mention two very large examples so this tendency seems to really help the platform develop and gain major attention across the crypto universe so I think it will definitely take some sort of role as a gateway to that world and I think the fact that you are in a virtual reality of sorts inside that parallel universe as a character um, really helps content discovery and project discovery. So I think it's more of a map rather than an actual game per se. But we will have to see where this universe eventually develops. And uh, one interesting aspect that I find particularly exciting is that you can create a certain second identity that you might have already created on your Twitter in, or on, on your social media. You can actually create a more substantial secondary identity here because you actually do have a character, you do have a name, and you do build up social interactions and social connections inside the world. So it does serve as a second layer for a second identity, which I find a very, very interesting, um, you know, a very interesting opportunity going forward. Well, you know, there is so much to say on the project. I think I'm going to, you know, keep this video relatively short. I would like to invite you to, you know, just jump into the world through a link, discover Decentraland. Have a look, have discover how empty it still is and how much opportunity there still is. But more importantly, if you have you know, found some interest in what I have said in this video, make sure to check out the next four videos in this series where I'm going to run you through you know, a couple of fundamentals that you need to know in order to get started in Decentraland. I think this will be really helpful if you're just starting out. Um, yeah, so there's another four videos, guys. If you like this type of content, please do subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow this channel and I'm trying to make this a gateway into the Decentraland community. I would really appreciate that if you subscribe. And also a little like or a comment, a positive, constructive comment. Um, but more importantly, a like would really help for this video to be seen more frequently by people who are interested in Decentraland. I would really appreciate that. Well, in that spirit, thank you very much for your time and I see you in the next video.